with more than 21 years of experience in engineering and development, a global leader heads the innovation, digital and architecture at DCB Bank. He has backed many leadership awards such as top 50 CIOs, top 100 innovative CIOs, top 20 BFSI leaders and many, many more. He has also appeared in many BFSI and industrial conferences as a keynote speaker. In today's talk, he will help us understand and adopt the emerging technologies of Industry 4.0 in BFSI to keep ourselves up to date with respect to customer expectations and business operations. With that, I would now like to invite Mr. Prasanna Lohar to take on the conversation. Over to you, Prasanna. Hi, good morning. I'm Prasanna Lohar. Uh, today we'll talk about uh, industry 4.0 adoption, typically in the BFSI industry. So uh, fortunate to be here at the DevOps India Summit 2021, which is the ACS la biggest event for DevOps and SRE. Uh, friends, we'll talk a lot about what's happening in the uh, post-pandemic, uh, the adoption of uh, various technologies. Uh, industry 4.0 typically is combination of many technologies aligned with some principles. We'll talk a lot about how BFSI industry is adopting this uh, so that they are uh, providing much more needed customer services to their customers. So this is all about me. I work in a bank as a head of our digital innovation and architecture department. I work closely with the many non-profit organizations like FICI, IMA and IDRPT. And I work closely with a lot of startup and FinTech community to mentor them and to make them to grow to the next level. So, yeah, so friends, in world 2030, right, humans will be banking with uh, no banks, with a question mark. I am asking this question to all of you all. And the way the banking is happening these days, right, so we have seen demonetization, we have seen data adoption, internet adoption, and uh, we have seen uh, adoption of a uh, UPI, the way it is happening. And uh, the way regulator is doing a lot many experiments around uh, a centralized bank digital currency worldwide, right? or uh, the way we are seeing a lot many innovations are coming payment industry, uh, typically with NPCI and uh, account aggregator by rebate. And there are furthermore, a lot many consolidations will happen. So I'm sure there will be a lot of platforms which will be available for our customers and banks. Um, banks will be like in the back end. So that's what I'm seeing that by 2030, I am sure that banks will be banking only with the platforms without uh, interacting with the bank right this is what we have seen uh, the first atm which is being uh, uh, adopted in 1967 at by barclays bank since then we have seen so many innovations in the banking uh, or bfsi industry and we hardly remember about atm right if there are any new atms are opening around us i am not sure like we will go and really see it is really happening that's how we have seen the moment of new innovations so this was era where there were uh, mobile branches, so-called pop-up branches. And typically post-pandemic, that's a behavior has come into many banks, right? Banks are bringing up pop-up branches or a manless branches where customers can come and do the transaction on their side. Or these pop-up branches are very good for better financial inclusion, where our uh, 2 billion people don't have bank accounts or they don't have a, a digital identity also. These pop-up branches will be very helpful uh, uh, for bringing a much more needed financial inclusion. So we adopt new technologies, we adopt uh, uh, new business processes so that we go to the next levels and uh, provide a much more needed service to the customer. This is what we have seen, right? We have seen those days of a barter system followed by paper money, gold money, uh, plastic cards or electronic money. And these days people talk a lot about cryptocurrencies or um, how a currency, digital currency can be adopted by the regulators, right? So banks will be invisible in the future, for sure. The way traditional firms are, are looking at a lot of innovation, digital disruptions. So the question to all of us that how, how will this industry 4.0 transform the banking, insurance, uh, kind of a financial ecosystem. So let's understand that. And let's see whether how we can make your organization uh, to make ready to uh, have those capabilities to embrace and accept industry 4.0. So my agenda will be like, let's resolve these challenges which BFSI industry is facing all about. So typically these days, we face a lot of back office operations. This is what how we have created our banking and insurance systems, right? Uh, we have issues around security, compliance. Uh, we have a lot of operations at the front office and branches, right? A paper-based uh, account opening, 
or we have a lot of uh, uh, issues at a KYC onboarding. I think my, I had opened my bank account way back in 2000, took more than 30, 35 days and I was so happy that moment. But if you bring on the similar customer behavior today and with a uh, insurance company or uh, any of those banks, right, uh, who open a bank account in so many days, 30 days. So I think it's it will not be accepted by any of the customer. That's how we have to see how we can really surpass all of the ch uh, challenges with a continuous innovation, with a lots of platforms and uh, industry consolidation like we have seen UPI or Aadhaar or Bharat Bill Payment or recently eRupee or Account Aggregator. These are a lot of uh, platforms which are really helping banks to come together, uh, provide, collaborate and provide uh, better services. I think with the blockchain kind of existing, we will see uh, uh, KYC onboarding will be so easy, right? Centralized KYC and video KYC, just imagine. Customer A is coming to bank A or uh, go, uh, and completing the KYC can reuse his KYC to bank uh, B also. That's how we will see the adoption of a uh, various technologies in VFSI. So some of the VFSI innovation which we recently seen is that uh, 3D printing houses. These houses are getting printed within a three, four hours. Just imagine, right? With the help of a 3D printing kind of ecosystem. Similarly, can we not create some pop-up branches within a half a day, right? Where these current branches, which are uh, physical branches, takes more than two to three months to really set up that branch, right? Just imagine how much man hours we'll consume. And moreover, these branches, how many of you really visited branches in the last uh, one year, right? Or uh, uh, how many of you really would like to visit the branches here onward? Ask those millennials who are uh, uh, watching those movies on Netflix or uh, Amazon Prime and uh, would not like to really go to the physical uh, premises. So I think adoption of a 3D printing houses for a uh, for uh, uh, pop-up branches or adoption of uh, uh, drones, right? Which will have to create a, uh, for uh, some one of the bank in Russia has utilized uh, uh, drones adoption for uh, sending the cash or robots, right? So uh, many banks uh, worldwide in India also SDFC and uh, City Union Bank has really adopted uh, uh, humanoids at uh, branches. So I think uh, robot tellers will be the future of banking. Obviously, yes. And that's a trend we have seen since 2016. And I'm sure that trend will be like a reduction of uh, employment or a human being at a tailor, which is a repetitive operation. Can we not create, uh, can we not have the humanoids for those repetitive operations and so that we can reskill existing employees and uh, look for for uh, uh, better innovations with them, right? So these are a few examples. We'll get into the detail, right? How current BFSA trends, how, what are those industry 4.0 blocks, which will, what are the best practices to adopt industry 4.0? And we'll see some of those use cases. I will talk about DCB Bank's Innovation Carnival, where we do a lot of innovations around this industry 4.0 startups and tech companies. And I'll see, give you some examples at the end, how we have done it, right? So what is the industry 4.0? When we define industry 4.0 involves a digital transformation of all the industries with the integration and digitization of all the various processes to make up the value chain, characters, adaptability, flexibility, more of the efficiency. More or the less, Industry 4.0 is a transformation accelerating factor, which will take your organization, which will take you individually to the next level with the right set of technologies, with the enhanced processes. And these processes are talking each other with the right, uh, uh, right business model. So which, and typically it will, listen to your customers what is their current need so like uh, when you are shifting from one orbit to another there are different types of banks in india uh, or insurance companies and every bank every insurance company has an aspiration to the go to the next level adoption of a blockchain adoption of ai practices or adoption of a variables or adoption of a new business model with the fintech so that's how every bank will look at what is my next orbit to the next year and to adopt those or to mitigate that orbit, what is that I need? So apart from technology, I may need some regulation support, or take partner support. I may need customer support. I may need people and skill support, but technology is the bottom line. Right? So technology is which is which is gonna really drive. So there are some principles of uh, uh, industry 4.0, interoperability. Right, we have to. It has to operate interoperability to the with the people. People should accept 
accept their service from anywhere banks should talk to each other right so we have seen some of those innovations in the past real time analytics with the right set of a data which which can be really achieved with the help of a big data ai kind of a thing so that uh, current banking which is a unidirectional banking can become bidirectional banking to provide a much more needed services to the to the customers right service orientation service orientation architecture right i am sitting at a home and i am accessing this service on zomato or i am accessing system service on paytm or google pay for payments so that kind of a service oriented architecture fourth part is very very important decentralization right how can we really decentralize current ecosystem today uh, i might be visiting a branch or to a bank but how can we decentralize this whole business model technology like blockchains are really helpful uh, for that so so that we should have a better decision making uh, autonomously right with i was giving example of a kyc autonomous i don't have to involve so many operations behind that virtual Uh, less of hardware, less of a physical servers, more of a virtualization, which will really give a kind of a adoption to this whole way, which we can see with the help of a cloud computing or a edge computing, which will come sooner or later. Modularity and scalability: how one variable will talk to the another, or how one IoT will talk to the much more needed services. so modularity is very very important while we adopt more and more iot devices how we are scalable with uh, quantum computing or uh, how we are building a more scalable uh, services with a better cloud computing right so these are six important principles and industry 4.0 is having this journey all of this all uh, six principles benefits quite a lot of benefits you can ask any buddy like who is really adopting industry 4.0 right a greater productivity better management better uh, efficient uh, Uh, decision making i think i'll talk a lot of use cases which will really give a more insights around uh, this a uh, lot many um, benefits which is will come in a, in a industry 4.0 in a nutshell uh, industry 4.0 gives a better customer experience it will uh, help you to reduc- reduce your operational cost uh, it will bring new business model uh it will bring uh, more business models more products for uh, your customer right as well as uh, it will bring uh, 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 like some of the innovation like cross uh, uh, industry innovations or uh, cross border payments right so overall your life will be optimized and it will help you to the move to the next orbit so what are different current bfs at trends internet adoption is going exponentially since demonetization and post adoption of the geo movement in india we have seen adoption and a lot of smartphones are becoming cheaper we have seen in the world half of the population is already on the internet and we will see so many people are having those smartphones i have seen those days people are hardly carrying feature phones but these days i think everybody is carrying smartphones and this journey will continue it will be like electricity or water right it will become internet become will commodity so it's very important to bring more and more innovation on internet and mobility this was the era which we have seen main friends pc or mini computers but this is the era which is coming up connected platforms connected car connected homes like your home electricity will pay off their bills right uh, your car will automatically will go to the garage and uh, uh, do the uh, servicing or go to the petrol pump and uh, fuel the petrol right so the connected platforms right uh, so with the 5g kind of a technology right so are we ready for that next step right so these are the questions the overall model of a bfsi has come onto the mobile now right if you can buy you can buy insurance you can trade you can do all those account opening you can do all the fixed deposit lending all kind of a services now available on online bank so what is the next step for us how can you bring more services all around us right so so that's how we can see the extreme digital adoption right so starting from our journey as a non digital which is a paper based or which you have seen advanced digital which is around uh, which is around your big data or omni channel architecture or video kvc with the right set of architecture i would look at a branch like where i am entering a branch with the help of a computer vision okay branch manager comes to know mr x at come moreover with the help of a big data uh, he he will be able to understand how much money he on an average is keeping in his bank account right so automatically branch manager can provide a better services to now just imagine i am able to see his his uh, his uh, behavioral aspects also based upon his facial expressions i, I can understand whether a customer is happy or unhappy can you imagine was this era in 2000 we were able to understand the, all these aspects no i think with the right set of uh, technology like big data computer vision ai rights or um, or a blockchain we are able to do lot many things in life and that will be our zero paper 
uh, extreme digital uh, BFSI industry. So this is a continuous process which we have seen, right? And this process is continue, uh, typically is uh, supported by uh, communication. We used to communicate to your PC with a keyboard and a mouse, right? So these days you are communicating with your mobile phones with a swipe or touch or uh, maybe Alexa and uh, series are uh, listening to us through voice, right? So tomorrow what is going to happen, right? Tomorrow it will be a gesture. I can, I'll be able to understand gestures of my customers. I'll be able to understand their behavioral patterns and I'll be able to provide much more needed services. So our hardware and interfaces are going more and more virtualized, more and more thinner things are going to come up, right? So, so today we might be in era of a smart screen, but maybe tomorrow we'll be in era of intuitive uh, interactions with augmented reality, virtual reality kind of interfaces. So are we ready for that? Or is your organization adopting enough? Do you have those kind of a skill set in your organization? So these are the things which we'll, uh, we'll have to really see, right? Sustainable development go uh, goals, right? World Economic Forum says, says some of these goals will be handled with the help of AI and blockchain, right? The so fintech adoption is a financial uh, global sustainability. We have to really work heavily uh, how to really support uh, unbanked people, right? How can we do that, right? So technology is going to help here that. Fintech adoption with the banks, uh, followed by your uh, proper branch-based model is getting converted as a marketplace model, where custom same customer typically get all of the services on a super as from a telecoms, entertainments, and so on, right? So API is driving that whole economy. And the API has a different kind of a models, like traditional banking models or a platform banking, uh, while you have a OLA within your uh, Google Map, right? Or uh, you have a Ola icon in a Kotak Vance app, or you have a, a bill payment system of bill days within my mobile banking app. So these kind of uh, open banking models are now coming up in our life. So more or less in future, with the help of this embedded finance, where users will have those services, either from your web platforms or either from your uh, IoT devices also, right? How it is possible? This open banking will be a standardized APIs which can be consumed by IoT devices. You are IoT or devices, machines will do the tomorrow's uh, payment transactions, right? So, so we will see the, uh, uh, the overall embedded, uh, embedded finance, which is really adopted heavily uh, everywhere. There are quite a lot of examples which are cloud-based banks, which are the challenger banks. They don't have a bank. They don't have a branches also, Atom Bank, Oro Monzo, Revolut, and they are having a number of customers and they are growing day by day and typically growing, providing better services. So tomorrow's bank will be a marketplace. So these are all, these are all the various trends in BFSI industry. And all of this is happening because of adoption of the right technology. Right? So there are a lot of technology, deep learning, or you talk about 3D printing, you talk about a wireless power, open source, you talk about uh, artificial intelligence, you talk about brain-to-brain -brain interface, and every year we are adopting these technologies. In 2021 onwards, we'll adopt a lot many technologies like biocomputer or a smart contracts or a, a, a neuro, neurology, or you talk about the smart machines. So I think we are in era where we already adopted a few other technologies. Uh, some of the examples like uh, AI, right? AI is already adopted. Uh, so today's digital banking, which was yesterday's traditional banking with the bank branch, now, this digital bank is having omni-channel architecture, right? Now, this is becoming AI-enabled ecosystem where your consumer is at center and doing all of these services with the non-bank bank suppliers. And moreover, uh, with the data, the bank and BFSI industry can understand how are you really placed with your financial stability? What is that you need to do, right? So, this kind of a more incentivization are coming up with the AI-enabled banking, right? Or a crypto banking, or sorry, or uh, you talk about uh, emerging technology technologies like which are augmented reality. Just imagine you wave off your phone with augmented reality and you can see where is your nearest uh, point of interest, so-called branch or uh, ATM. Or you can talk to any of the uh, customer agent while waving off your uh, uh, mobile phone on your card. It will directly reach out to and directly customer agent will talk to you by saying, Mr. X, how are you doing today? You, are, you can wave off all this paper cost, right? You can have a on the fly without even you can do away with the digital assets like a PDFs with the augmented reality. Your statement coming in the air right so i think lot many possibilities will come with the augmented reality adoption in the bfsi industry crypto banking the way the banks are uh, adopting a uh, blockchain technology and some of the examples like the crypto like bitcoin and uh, ethereum they have a better technology right we can really enhance those technology aspects on uh, scalability security better uh, uh, better backend engine and better consensus algorithm and we can really use 
to build tomorrow's crypto bank or centralized bank digital currency kind of a ecosystem where many 80 plus central banks worldwide has really adopted so i think these are all trends are happening friends uh, in our life we it is very very important see what are those uh, industry 4.0 building blocks right so i think typically everybody knows now what was the industry 1.0 Uh, where it was where a lot of money machinization right followed by industry uh, 2.0 which was around electrical power kind of thing 3.0 was more of a robots or robots uh, kind of ecosystem 4.0 which is a smart factory autonomous iot machine learning 3d quite a lot there are different kind of uh, ecosystems available a uh, 3d printing 5g or uh, artificial intelligence likewise there are a uh, 10 15 plus technologies which are really part of our industry 4.0 and what they offer they offer this wearable kind of things they offer uh, smart offices smart office automation smart cities are getting uh, uh, transformed now or a smart manufacturing better healthcare within hospitals and better automotive we have seen some of the experiments done by elon musk and there are many other hyperloops or you talk about the smart cars connected cars right so there are there are around more than 10 plus technologies like the 3d printing 5g ai robotic uh, we'll talk about uh, these technologies one by one in a in a consecutive slides like so although what we have seen social media mobility is uh, uh, is everywhere analytics is based upon the big data is one of the uh, industry 4.0 technology cloud computing so these days every model is going on a cloud looking at uh, ai and the big data requires quite a lot throughput to run their algorithms it makes sense to run on a cloud cloud itself has its more advantages and disadvantages but bfsa industry is really adopting now cloud heavily some of the banks implemented their big data journey on cloud or some of the banks are now implementing their video kiosks on cloud so cloud adoption is going to be the huge we have seen those journey of a data centers followed by the cloud adoption so biometric behavioral biometric or biometric adoption uh, open api is a backbone of uh, implementing the uh, industry 4.0 you need to have to have a right architecture in your organization with the enterprise service bus followed by the apis right so so once we build this uh, once we build this backbones in your Uh, so we can really get into this industry 4.0 building blocks like blockchain blockchain is a technology is like a, uh, internet 2.0 it's a foundational technology which will take some time to really adopt but it will change a lot the way we operate today's internet which doesn't have a trust but this blockchain comes and will provide trust for a cross border trust for a trade finance it will provide trust for kyc right likewise there are quite a lot i must say that every business model which has a database more than two actors will really transform overall ecosystem which will give better uh, uh, transparency in your life right so blockchain blockchain plus iot imagine iot can be secured with the help of a blockchain so today's era your car your lot of gadgets are now being adopted uh, uh, at home at offices individually wearables you are uh, tomorrow's uh, wearables uh, tomorrow shoes will become wearables tomorrow uh, tomorrow's uh, your shirt will have a better uh, understanding of what color you need automatically it can change based upon your uh, your expectations on that day right so iot will be huge adoption uh, here onwards we will see and when 5g will come in our life 5g so if there will be lot of variables or iot adoption so that moment we will require more and more trust so where blockchain will come and really help that now once we have lot of data once you have lot of transactions available how to do deal with the better customer base where ai and big data will come into the picture the artificial intelligence will bring on or reduce lot of operational efforts we will bring on uh, robotic process automation kind of ecosystem to reduce uh, the operations within our banking ecosystem tomorrow's communication is going to about augmented reality virtual reality or a mixed reality just imagine i am sitting here and my all of delegates are sitting at their home although we are today on a zoom kind of ecosystem but tomorrow virtual reality or those glasses will make sure that we are sitting together right so those tomorrow's virtual conversation tomorrow's future of work will be glued on to augmented reality i have seen some of the startups who are creating the banking interface on the air you just have to touch balance in car you don't have to touch the fund transfer it is happening everywhere you don't have to carry a mobile phone to do that right so likewise we'll see lot of uh, such kind of adoption with the 5g coming to picture uh, while cobots uh, like uh, dependent robots right they are really implemented in many manufacturing companies uh, robots humanoids adoption will be huge in tomorrow's banking infrastructure while we are reducing branch infrastructure 
still there will be some adoption of a manless branch or some kind of ecosystem right so connected world i spoke about the smart cars or edge computing with to support variables quantum computing tomorrow's computing 3d printing how say 3d printing bank branches 3d printing uh, devices right this will be very much adopted by us drones right the drones going to be another way of a communication right every single individual will have their own drones in future they will do their transaction they will go and buy uh, grocery they will keep on their i think there are a lot of possibilities around drones right computer vision the example which i was talking about customer entering in a bank branch and you will be able to understand his behavior his expression right quite a lot you will be able to understand your how your branch bank branches are designed with the help of a computer vision how much is a crowd within your bank branch who has really entered your uh, gold loan um, uh, depository within a bank branch so i think these kind of innovations we are also at a uh, in a combination with the blockchain while giving a provide a gold loan right we do capture who is that customer and entered what time he has entered okay why what time he has went out right that how, that's how we will be able to calibrate the uh, performance of the bank branch right moreover with the combination of a blockchain we are able to see and uh, capture that data which cannot be tampered right the gold photographs shown possibilities are huge when you work together right similarly these technologies are also going to work together uh, with each other so these are all various technologies which will really help to better adopt uh, industry 4.0 so how do we get ready for a uh, uh, industry 4.0 so as i said earlier you have to see where is your bank or organization what is your level right so all how much adoption we have done on technology how much adoption we have done process enhancements are you doing everything aligned with the regulator are you doing aligned with your customers are you listening to your customers then only you will be able to move from one orbit to the another orbit one threshold to another threshold right so so there are ten building blocks or five building blocks and uh, uh, steps like people right we have a right set of a people skill set to adopt your technology right do you have a blockchain experts do you have ex- ai experts right do you have a, that culture who will really adopt every other thing right so people is a very very important aspect right and uh, say example at dcb i have innovation head or digital head. i have created lot many skill set right lot many process innovation which is very very important we can certainly automate every other process we have to prioritize those processes which can be automated with help of rpa or ai right we have to adopt right set of a technology to enhance those processes so various co is right center of excellence rpa coe or a blockchain coe or ai coe will really help uh, step by step adopting a process enhancements adopt the right technologies if you don't have a basic technology which i was talking about cloud esb open banking mobility biometric you cannot ride on your industry 4.0 uh, other technology like ai ml or uh, emerging technology like blockchain and so on while doing these experiments please see how regulation is supporting you that you can't create crypto or uh, that kind of a banks today but uh, 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 every other innovation which you are bringing compliance you cannot really observe somebody's data uh, throughout the day right or uh, without any consent right uh, somebody is entering bank branch you are understanding facial expressions but you have to take a consent right so quite a lot of aspects are there regulation security cyber security uh, can you really see how you can partner the startups and uh, fintech companies to do lot of experiments initially and before going out to the big tech companies and implement your uh, solutions and while doing this very important aspect to hear your customer internal or external customer and keep engaging them keep listening them through these apps understand the data and provide much more needed services to this uh, industry 4.0 so that's how industry is doing this is a, so these are a, uh we, there are other slides are talk about uh, how people leadership development bringing those uh, champions within your organization right uh, in house road maps reskilling of your internal people or you talk about understand processes and create those workflows uh, create those open banking kind of a model uh, better cyber security kind of a practices better architecture uh, adopt those various technologies technology adopted at a three level like front office where mobility internet of things uh, social media will be adopted in between it will be api or rpa or or some kind of a, a digital security uh, in the back office it's a very important ai big data blockchain sits in a back end so all this technology has to talk each other right so then only you can say we are digitally transformed with the right set of people and right set of for a right set of a process regulation 
is very very important as when we spoke keep on hearing your customers right at a dcb we keep on hearing customers at the branches and with a lot of innovation ideas bringing from uh, customers internal customers are providing the, their ideas on our platforms right uh, and you can create various coes to create those coes create coe champions in the, your organization we have created for ai blockchain or big data or uh, likewise tomorrow's devops right so we have to create those coes which will take care of security business teams marketing team compliance development human resource and uh, it delivery and it infrastructure right and finally while creating ghost capacity don't uh, invest so much go step by step create some small model and go to the bigger model and involve all the your stakeholders within your within your journey starting from a building governance a platform implementation cyber security compliance and finally the business operations so i think this could be the way to adopt any of those orbits or industry 4.0 once again you have to understand where is your orbit as of now accordingly keep on implementing i'll take another 5 minutes to uh, tell about uh, what are different uh, innovations right bfsi industry has done under uh, uh, 4.0 like now the channels are changing earlier it was uh, just a, a punch card or a keyboard or a mouse you talk about a pc or a mobile phones tomorrow channels will be gesture banking speech banking voice banking augmented reality or your bank bank is going out of the branches to the open bank right so wells fargo the way it has done all the services available on to the open banking i was talking about this ai enabled banking so this is another adoption on industry 4.0 rpa right common standard manual process wherein a repetitive operations are there understand how many such repetitive operations are there at the dcb we have done more than 45 plus such operations automated at a, with the help of a robotic process automation now robotic process automation has a more more better model so called um, intelligent automation which has a better understanding to repetitive operation more intelligence it will provide we were talking about uh, the centralized kyc video kyc one of the bank in a, one of the banking community in japan has adopted this or overall branch model is now coming on to the fintechs like fintechs are helping like these are the some of the banks like revolut n26 they are really giving competition rather collaboration to the to the existing banking models uh, new models is coming like platform banking uh, or you just have to decide uh, i want to create a bank so your platforms are ready these days right with the ai so gone were those days the core banking and various other uh, systems to be implemented today platforms are available with a uh, better technology which has a sales and marketing tool which has a lot more innovation based upon iot's or based upon a blockchain or uh, based upon a big data and so on right so i think opa these are all the other experiments every bank is doing now on a open banking your branch model has converted into the online banking variables right uh, variables or ring payments or your glasses will become tomorrow's uh, payment devices or any of those banking services or insurance services devices right so i think iot will adopted with the help of 5g this will become a prime factors or prime channels so on cloud is being adopted heavily in uh, in many banks Uh, many banks voice banking is becoming another interface uh, for us so called humanoids are they present in the bank branches in some of the banks and typically it will be adopted by many as many bank branches manlays branches and so on manlays branches can be created with the help of 3d printing so on future branches will have a different experiences those could be utilized in the evening for some other purpose more of awareness more of a financial literacy uh, awareness and so on right so followed by a uh, drone banking or uh, your uh, atm vans or uh, mobile bank branch uh, pop up branches or augmented reality based interfaces for a better doing better branches to create a better open banking practices uh, many banks are adopting industry 4.0 marketplace banking where you can avail any of the services like you don't have to go to the bank your bank be all these services will be on a single platform like super apps the way you know or the way pays app or the way uh, tomorrow's google pay or uh, Uh, other banks will really adopt this kind of ecosystem which has a complete customer ecosystem partner ecosystem where all the services or interfaces are available right so uh, so tomorrow's banking will become everyday banking morning to evening this model will understand what is the need of a customer what is needed at 8 o'clock 10 o'clock accordingly it will understand the data provided much more needed service not only for banking but also or of all all of his uh, non banking services also like transportation home health protection travel communication entertainment food all of these services will be available on a 
single platform but don't forget about the security so tomorrow security will be invisible security i think on where those days will be using those passwords in future you will be using like a finger uh, printing or behavioral biometrics or blockchain based hardware tokens or location based uh, access or uh, likewise we'll adopt lot many other uh, security practices and so on right so fintech adoption uh, we have seen in the bank plus fintechs are adopting uh, so let's talk about a fintech adoption fintech adoption uh, where you know we have seen how banks are collaborating with the fintechs right there are different domains they are adopting for api banking blockchain payments lending integrated finance insurance wealth asset management and while doing this a uh, lot many banks are adopting a step by step journey phase 1 phase 2 phase 3 where they are ad adopting a uh, various business model for a uh, fintech adoption uh, for example in Indo indonesia uh, brick api is a platform for many banks banking as a service right this is being adopted in india heavily now or uh, big tech companies like uh, shopify or apple google grab uber or uh, these days uh, google pay or uh, phone pay are providing a lot many uh, needed services on your platforms so at a dcb i run a program so called a innovation carnival wherein we get a lot of ideas from our business teams and we have created this ecosystem where we work closely with the other bfsi other startup fintechs and uh, about the uh, governments Yeah, so I was talking about the innovation carnival. So this is a DCB Bank's innovation carnival, wherein I work closely with the uh, internal business teams, uh, internal stakeholders. I work closely with the uh, external startups, internal external accelerators, BFSI, uh, other BFSI industries, and so on. So wherein uh, uh, we have gathered a lot of problem statements from our internal stakeholders, uh, which will be around adoption of industry 4.0 use cases. We open up this problem statement for our startup and ecosystem. where we create lot of mvps pocs pilots so that this adoption can become a actual product or a coe for the bank right so like we have a lot of use cases and uh, uh, mentors and smes on the left side and there are lot quite a lot of ecosystem players like banks students startups governments academia so these are all the ecosystem players within innovation carnival and lot of activities we do like hackathon master class research discovery startup graduation program output is very very interesting we have a lot of business models a lot of uh, digital transformation better operational excellence and we are uh, creating uh, this innovation lab with the help of these stakeholders and we do offer uh, get lot of uh, talent hunt also in these programs so these are the so these are all the problem statement like sme banking data as a strategy kyc as a service cyber security customer onboarding like the process automation the localization robo advisor marketplace social media humanoids uh, digital branch cashless village right so all these or a smart agriculture all these uh, we have uh, prototypes and poc pilot ready for all of these just because of this program so called innovation carnival so there are various various ideas or uh, service providers we have captured i'll take another 2 minutes to really talk about uh, various uh, mobile banking kind of innovation or uh, you talk about uh, omni channel kind of innovation with the sciency industnet what's loan or uh, versify kind of uh, players or you talk about uh, uh, everyday bank kind of assistive with the help of neo banks skinny in or open or neo this is what we have adopted uh, uh, smarties which is uh, which is helpful for uh, reducing uh, paper or uh, bringing a better process automation uh, sound based payments with the help of a tone tag or you talk about wearables so wearable seven rings has helped us to create a prototype for a, a payment through your ring or next gen is helping for a digital payment adoption easy for a customer on a feature phones or you talk about a process enhancements uh, with the help of a rpa we have done a cost saving operational interface for a saving your power or uh, operational excellence right uh, with the help of a better uh, payment exchanges the merchants payment exchanges the banks and so on or uh, followed by the uh, vernos which is helping for a mic mar marketplace for e-commerce pure ai which has done a lot of innovations on ai powered uh, contact center or augmented reality based uh, banking interface right or ai lending face recognition it says it's a powerful ai and ar vr uh, for a banking origraph hashgraph they are building new uh, uh, products or new platforms for a blockchain for a banks or you talk about a cash reconciliation which is a better uh, which is a one of the very time consuming aspect for a banks right that will be reduced with the help of rp and a blockchain coming together this is what uh, sofocal or uh, uh, origraph is doing or you talk about new idea money politics bringing uh, biometrics to the next level behavioral biometrics based upon your gesture uh, fingerprint uh, uh, or fingerprint uh, expectations around uh, 
biometrics so behavioral biometrics are about understanding your behavioral pattern on your biometrics your pattern on the fingers your pattern on your voice and every individual has its own pattern so they utilize and as create a unique identity for access on various uh, applications similar key admia isivia they are providing a better cyber security services or you talk about the work apps work play so they are uh, helpful for uh, uh, improving productivity of the employees or uh, communications you already talk about a work jogo which is an layer which brings into the current uh, current lead management kind of uh, applications and understand uh, employee behavior and uh, give a challenge to the one employee to another employee to bring employee uh, performance to the next level with the help of ai and big data work apps work key inspira they are like a whatsapp kind of a communication internally what are the first type to code these are the ai uh, platforms you can just plug and play this ai big data platforms within your ecosystem and within a two three weeks you can really start your big data ai journey uh, pluto man uh, doing very heavily nicely on uh, augmented reality creating virtual branches we have done some experiments on mobile banking to create a, uh, or to understand a point of interest or search the nearest branch or atm there are other companies who are bring this uh, mitra robots who are for creating uh, uh, humanoids at your uh, uh, bank branches and so on map my india or uh, copernes altizon uh, gps based asset tracking or gps based uh, tracking of tractors or uh, tractor where we provide loans right so these kind of innovations which are building uh, computer vision based or uh, machine vision based innovations with uh, deep sight ai or jiskel or techwave so which can really help to enhance the customer experience at a branch and branch can be really transferred to the next level uh, rpa with the uh, automation ai tech force and uh, there are quite a lot heavy platforms available worldwide so we as a bank also implemented some of them versify account lalaji for uh, helping our smes on a, a platform kind of a ecosystem on open banking so likewise there are quite a lot and number of startups who are uh, working with uh, within india outside of india to ultimate aim is to provide uh, industry 4.0 adoption for our customers internally and uh, externally and do the better uh, services uh, for our customers with a new business model so so friends thank you so much uh, for hearing me about uh, industry 4.0 building blocks what are those best practices how technology can be really work together it's not a, uh, it's not like a technology can be work in a silos so gone were those days we have seen nokias or blueberries or aols products right and these models has vanished because they they didn't adopt industry 4.0 these are the logos they have already adopted geo or netflix or amazon you can't replace those in our customers life but if these technologies will not change and adopt a next level of orbit they will also have to extinguish so adoption of industry 4.0 is a journey tomorrow we will enter in a society 5.0 and we'll have a many more other brands together so keep rescaling have a right set of a people together to uh, enhance your process to go to the next orbit uh, adopt your technologies with a basic technology followed by emerging technology see your regulation how it is supporting co- collaborate with the tech partners fintech startups and ultimately listen to your customer customer we are doing barter banking yesterday today it could be electronic money tomorrow it could be a digital currency so are you listening to your customers yes so i think that's how you will be able to adopt industry 4.0 and we have seen how other industries within a bfsi is adopting and how cross industry innovation from other industry like retail or agriculture that are also getting adopted uh, within a banking and insurance industry so thank you so much for inviting me to talk about uh, how uh, bfsi industry typically adopting in the industry 4.0 thank you so much